Hey there YouTubers, right, so in this video I'm going to install the i7-12700F that's in my, uh, it's actually my ASUS Prime Z690P motherboard. Um, you might ask, why are you doing that? Uh, well, I've got to wait for DDR5 RAM to show up for this other motherboard, so I figure I might as well play with the good i7 that I have and uh, so we are going to basically put this in here for a little while and I've got to take these brackets out we're going to put the one of my knock to 140 millimeter CPU coolers in here I need to do some swapping around uh, I've got brackets for another knock to a cooler we have about at least a dozen Noctua coolers here. I just haven't, oop, I haven't figured out what I want to do with the computer that's got the other one of the other Noctuas that I want to use. And I've got to verify that the brackets work. I've got um, another 140, but that's on an i7 10700K. That has the RTX one of the RTX 3090s on it, so it's not ideal to go take that one. Uh, could, but then I have the uh, what is it, the 120 millimeter reflux one, which would probably be decent for these guys. So we're going to go ahead and take the uh, we'll go ahead and take the CPU out. And I am actually going to pop the cover off, uh, the black cover, unlike, you know, previous generations where you would let it pop off itself as you brought the lever arm down. I really find it a little more difficult to do with this new setup. So, it's in there. Um... You know, I didn't show it, but little triangle in the corner. There's a, a triangle down here in the black. That's why I'm how I'm lining it up. Okay. So this guy gets interferes with the CPU. You can't get it down there, so you do have to remove it. Now it'll sit, right? Good boy. Now I can move this lever arm up and up underneath. Now it's in there pretty tight. Uh, way tighter than the old old deal. Now this motherboard is going to go back to work here shortly. I'm realizing folks I might need more 12th gen CPUs for the channel. We have so many motherboards and I honestly need to... I've got that on there backwards. I need to retire some motherboards and CPUs. So just like I said the triangle <laughs> when I line this up right and boom. Okay. Now we can get this out of the way. And not as excited about this motherboard is the one you just saw, but all the same folks. This is this should have some special stuff on it that was not in the cheaper motherboards and we're slowly getting some better motherboards on the channel um, why I didn't buy better motherboards in the beginning that's anybody's guess wow that does not want to sit in there right okay there we go spacers So I am putting dual fans on my 140 millimeter. Uh, why am I doing that? Well, mainly because I've got an extra fan. Whether it's going to do anything, I you know I think it drops it down about a half a degree to a degree and a half. Is it worth it? Might not be. So um, before I tighten that down, this is why I'm reining it. I want the 
the fan to be in this orientation. And you can see it, this is threaded and our screw is going to go in there. So now we can tighten these down. And uh, yeah, this motherboard, compared to the ASRock Z690, this has base clock frequency adjustment, and therefore we should be able to get a little bit more out of it. What this thing doesn't have <laughs> is the additional 1x4. Uh, will that matter? It may. Because um, we're going to adjust power limits too. We may find it doesn't do anything. So my best bench with this CPU was with the Z690. Um, Cinebench R23 multi-core. We had a bench of uh, 20,568. I am expecting that we, we potentially could beat that. Now if, if the 1 by 4 matters that this doesn't have, um, we're not going to get it done. Now the other the other ASUS motherboard that I told you I was a little more excited about, the ASUS Prime Z690P, that guy does have everything you could want for the most part. Um, except for a couple things I like, like an a I.O. shield, some RGB lights um, on the motherboard. You know, just, it's lacking a few features, right? But overall, for performance, it's, uh, it's got it, right? Uh, for the money, that motherboard is pretty darn awesome. All right, so we got a couple threads on. And I'm still going to kind of go back and forth just to get this on. Now we're going to crank it down. I don't even know where the uh, RAM is that we're going to use for this. I better find some. Problem now is I have, I have more motherboards, folks, than I have. Or, excuse me, I have more... CPUs that I have RAM for. We do have the DDR5 coming. I didn't get another solid state, so we're we're going to be down there. But that computer, potentially, you know, for the future, is the best one, right? For now, it might not be because a lot of the DDR5 isn't that impressive. All right. So we got that on. Now our CPU fan headers are over in this area. I don't have my splitter. Um, intake side is going to be on this side and then it's going to exhaust on this side. So I'm going to plug this in. Actually, I'm going to do I'm going to do the other side first, and see if we have to rearrange this. Okay, that works. And I'll put this on. So you know, I I I say installation in the video. Some people will get but hurt that oh this wasn't a full installation well it's the CPU CPU cooler and basically all I say is installing the CPU into this motherboard right so there you go intake side exhaust and we're ready to rock and roll folks alright so I said we're ready to rock and roll. Of course we're not ready to rock and roll. We don't have RAM. We're going to have a solid state drive in here. And so this is a 16 gig stick. 
of 3200 megahertz to kind of make all the benchmarks fair using the same RAM. Um, honestly using pretty much the same motherboard manufacturer too for almost every one of the motherboards. Probably should not hold that by the CPU cooler, but alright. So I'm gonna have a RTX 20 or excuse me 3080 Ti there. So it doesn't really matter where this M.2 goes because as far as I can tell they're all Gen 4 and I've got a Gen 3 so uh, we do need the standoff so grab that out of the box. Nice thing about these new M.2s is, or excuse me, the new motherboards, they all pretty much have a ton of screws with them. Well, not really a ton, but they come with uh, three. So a lot of people are obviously not going to use three. I'd be lucky if they use uh, one and a bunch of hard drives. But in our case, we, we could put M.2s in all of them. Wow. So I somehow got the plastic to stick to everything. <laughs> and I can't get this out of here. Not very smart. Um, Alright, so we want to go 2280. Which should be this guy right here. And I think, you know, the nice thing about this motherboard, we could put... We can actually put it over here, so it's away from everything. There's nothing else over here, really, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Gen 3, M.2. Um, I have a couple of Gen 4s, but I honestly don't use them that much. They're in one of these computers in this house. Or both, excuse me. Two, there's two of them, and they're in two computers. And hopefully that screw's going in there. So that's that. I'm going to add this guy. I might as well just drop it in here while we're doing it. Um, we've got two things. We're going to add a the Wi-Fi card. And I'm going to put that up here. And of course, having this on the box would have been easier to work with. Alright. So. This up, put it there. And Wi-Fi card. We're going to stick it up here. Now, at least in the beginning, I'll use Ethernet, but this eventually will have the Wi-Fi card in it. And then down here, this only goes in one way. And voila. So we'll tuck that under the graphics card. And I don't think it's going to fit. I wanted to use this additional USB, but the graphics card is so huge, it's not going to work. Could potentially put them in here. Sometimes you got to be careful what you put in here because it will actually end up getting hot. I do have another M.2 I could stick in there. Matter of fact, folks, um, gosh, now that we put the box on top of it, I could put this in there, but, so, there you go, that's it, thanks for checking out the video, please like, please subscribe.